Good evening, I'm Joel Davis, currently serving as principal for Columbia Christian. And I've worked with Columbia Christian since 1987 in various capacities. My wife, Carol, taught sixth grade here for 12 years. We had three daughters all graduate from the school during the early to mid 90s. We also have five grandchildren who have attended Columbia Christian. Starting in 2017, the first one graduated and two others have graduated in 2019. All three of those are attending universities and we have two more that will graduate in 2021 and 2022. I have highly valued the relationships that I have formed here at Columbia with students and staff. Those relationships enriched me as a person. I've also valued the benefits that my children and grandchildren have received as a result of attending and completing their education at Columbia with an emphasis on the biblical worldview. So tonight, I want to welcome you to our 2021 Open House and Family Night. Glad you were able to join us tonight from the comfort of your home. You are encouraged to register as a guest for this evening. You may do so by using the link in the video description that's below. Tonight, we'll be randomly drawing from the registrations for a few prizes including a couple of bags of Columbia gear and a month of free tuition for one student this fall. At this time, I would like to introduce a video from our board chairman, Robert Gentry, to get us started. Thank you, Mr. Davis. On behalf of the board of directors, thank you for joining us tonight. We are thrilled that you are considering Columbia for your child's education. For those of you that are already part of Columbia's family, thank you for being here as well. I started at Columbia in 1992 after my family and I moved from San Diego to Portland. A longtime Columbia supporter and family friend, Russell Ingalls, gave us a tour of the campus and it immediately felt like home. The best thing about Columbia are the relationships you make. My best friends today are friends I met at Columbia, and they have lasted a lifetime. I want to say a special thank you to the staff and faculty for a job well done during these last few months under unique circumstances. They really did go above and beyond. Thank you again for joining us, and I look forward to meeting you all in person really soon. Thanks again. Thank you, Robert, for that message. We appreciate everything that Robert and our board do to support Columbia Christian. This evening, we'll be celebrating our year together so far, and we'll be looking ahead also to the fall. We're going to be hearing from a few different members from our school, starting with our president, Amy Vinsel. And at this time, I'd like to welcome Mrs. Vinsel. Welcome. It is good to be with you this evening. So glad that you are a part of Columbia Christian School. I'm Amy Venzel. I serve as president at Columbia. I've been a part of Christian education uh, for now um, just a little over 27 years and have served at Columbia since 2003 when I stepped into um, the elementary and did some coaching as well. And then in 2013 was asked to step into leadership and I served as principal and then in 2019 stepped into the role of head of school. I feel very blessed and honored to be here in leadership at Columbia and working especially with Mr. Davis. We're excited to offer uh, this virtual open house. Uh, this seems to be the way of things now. And so um, in this, we want to provide you opportunity to see what God is doing at Columbia Christian. 
and we want to provide you opportunity to be encouraged um, in the commitment that we've made together in a Christ-centered education. We want to be able to provide you opportunity to hear great testimonies from people within our community. And then I also want to remind you of the great commitment of Christian education and how that sets us apart. And then, of course, to invite you into continuing with us in your partnership here at Columbia Christian School. This year, my encouragement to um, our faculty staff, but also to our community at large, is um, to journey through together, to journey through challenges, and that we not grow weary of doing good. It's been a difficult year since last March of figuring out how to navigate the challenges of COVID-19. And so my encouragement to our community comes from Galatians 6, 9, that we not grow weary of doing good, but that we shall reap a harvest of blessing. The family at Columbia Christian has journeyed through completely dependent on God's leading with purposeful attention uh, towards God and what he would have us do here in the work at Columbia. We understand that through adversity and challenges that God develops our character. And so we as a staff and an encouragement to our students have focused on what it is that we can learn when we journey through challenges. I think we journey through with a greater appreciation of community and what it means to be together. We absolutely learn what it means to be patient and to be kind, to be faithful, to be long-suffering, and to be loyal, to be generous, and to be courageous. These are life lessons that God has led us through. And we journey through trusting that God is leading us to the other side. Yes, 2020 has been challenging for sure, but our faculty and staff, our students, and our parents have joined hands and we've worked together. We have journeyed through together and been very intentional to support our students, uh, wanting to make sure um, that our students feel cared for and supported and that we have attention towards their spiritual, emotional, and social formation, um, as well as academics. And so I just want to pause and I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to our staff, to our faculty, to my administrative team, to our students, and to our parents. Thank you for your commitment, your dedication to journeying through with your family at Columbia Christian, journeying through together. I do want to take an opportunity to let you hear from teachers. They have a lot that they would love to say, but I've asked them just to share a few words with you today. So let's listen to them now. Since 1947, Columbia Christian School has served families in the greater Portland area. The mission of Columbia Christian School is to provide a Christ-centered education. Christ-centered education, focused on excellence in faith, character, and academics. Focused on excellence in faith, character and academics. The core values of a Columbia Christian school are fostering a community of relationship building, pursuing truth, devotion to excellence, and preparing students for abundant living in Christian leadership and service. Columbia Christian's core values not only support our mission, but speak to the very heart of our ministry. Columbia's community is strong and dedicated to making a difference. Dedicated to making a difference in the hearts and minds of young people. Alumni, donors, board members, administration, faculty, staff, and school families. All working together as the Columbia Christian family. I, I love, love being, being a part, part of the Columbia, Columbia difference. difference. I'm grateful to our faculty and staff, and I'm so glad that they get to be a part um, of our virtual open house with you tonight, that they get to share with you. So thank you to them. I want us to take a moment and focus on um, Christian education and why we have chosen, you have chosen, Christian education for your student. John Piper de describes Christian education as the instilling of habits and mind and heart that incline and enable students 
for the rest of their lives. Christian education enables them to observe, to understand, to evaluate, to feel, to apply, and to express a full reliance on God. Education that is Christ-centered is distinct, and it must include a purposeful attention to the Holy Spirit and the work that the Holy Spirit does. It draws our attention to Jesus Christ, and he is the basis, the fundamental basis, that empowers our work. And that all that we do in Christian education is to the glory of our God. And that the work that we do is governed by the authority of God, his scripture, the Bible. This is Christ-centered education. Stephen R. Covey encourages us to begin with the end in mind. And this is actually a very biblical principle that we find in Proverbs 22, verse 6. God's word says, train up a child in the way that they should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. A Christ-centered education offers a hope that can better that can better serve our students, that their lives through learning and education would be grounded in biblical principle. No other form of education offers a soul nurturing, a spiritual formation. So our world can teach our children um, and equip them for a job. They can teach them to read and write and do math. They can teach them to problem solve and even to think critically. But our world does not provide a spiritual formation. And so the real question in Christian, in Christian education is um, the value that we find is not what am I getting for my money, but it really is um, what is it that my child will get in the investment of a Christ-centered education? Let's go back to that biblical principle in Proverbs 22, that we are to train up a child in the way that they should go. At Columbia, we understand the tremendous responsibility of character formation, and this is where we focus the character formation that really should resemble that of our Savior Christ Jesus. From preschool all the way up to seniors in high school, we begin with the end in mind. In order for us to define what we call a portrait of a graduate, at Columbia we aim to prepare our students to be servant leaders in their communities as they model Christ, and then we focus all of that formation on our mission of excellence in faith, character, and academics. At Columbia, we desire to cultivate students who understand the value and importance of developing a personal relationship with Christ. We want to cultivate students who understand a biblical worldview in the areas of reading, writing, math, science, social studies, and the arts. We want to cultivate students that are able to analyze and think critically about important topics that they face in today's world. We want to cultivate students who value teamwork, collaboration, and can share with people of diverse backgrounds, ethnicities, cultures. We want to cultivate students who are prepared to be positive contributors in their community and in their churches. Jesus said that he came to give life and give it abundantly, John 10.10. 10. And so we want to encourage our students and cultivate students that go out and have abundant lives and then want to share that with community and church. We have some great testimonies from um, students, current students, and family members, and then alum that would love to share with you their personal testimony of being a part of the family at Columbia Christian. Let's listen to them share. My name is JC. My son's name is Zale. He's a seventh grader there. He's been going there since the first grade. The reasons that I chose Columbia for my son were faith-based learning, safety, and education. Those three things were the top of my list for picking a school for my son. And 
uh, Columbia is hands down the best choice that I've made for my son. Um, he, his character, who he is as a person, um, how he's thriving, especially as a teenager now, um, are amazing. He's a great kid. He knows who he is. He's um, way ahead of the curve when it comes to maturity level. He is a 13-year-old crazy teenage boy right now. But underneath all that is, is I truly believe, a kid that knows who he is and knows what he wants to do and has a path. And even if that path changes, he'll, he'll be aware of the changes that of, they'll be on his own. He'll know what he wants to do and where he's headed. And uh, he makes me extremely proud. And a lot of that has to do with Columbia and the teachers there and the faculty and the staff. Um, over the last seven years, there's been so much that the school has done for him and myself just, and he's been on honor roll all the time, amazing grades, um, helping me with getting a laptop for, for school during the whole coronavirus thing. The fact that they have an amazing education program that they literally had to get to put together for coronavirus at the last minute is amazing. And the education the kids have gotten since coronavirus is amazing. Um, I, I seriously, this video could be an hour long of all the great things that Columbia does as a school, not just for myself, but all parents and all kids and the relationships that are established. And Columbia really is just a, an expansion of my family. It's really nice to know that when I take my son to school, that he's safe, he's getting an education, and he's building a relationship with God. And I couldn't ask for more out of a school. I love, 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 love being a part of the Columbia Christian family, um, being a part of the Columbia difference. Um, and I know my son does too. And I just can't thank everybody enough. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Hi there. My name is Mike, and I'm one of the newest members of the Columbia alumni community. I graduated only last year in 2020, having spent all four years of high school at Columbia. Currently, I'm at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee, studying neuroscience and German and possibly chemistry as well. Some of the best memories of my time at Columbia were made in exciting anatomy and chemistry labs with Mrs. Brandt, as well as many service field trips I went on with Mrs. Dawkins. I also loved getting to see my prayer warrior buddies from elementary school every week, we could talk about anything from we had done over the weekend to why God created each person to be unique. My absolute favorite event at Columbia would definitely be Nightfest in the fall, when my awesome ASB officers planned activities for an entire weekend, allowing students to become acquainted with one another and to build one inclusive community. Columbia planted seeds of kindness and the spirit of service in me. I loved being part of the Columbia difference. Hi, my name is Fasika. I am a sophomore at Columbia Christian High School. I started attending Columbia in 2019 as a freshman, and I've realized the environment there is different compared to other schools because the students are super nice and friendly, and it just feels like you're with your families there. One of the things I appreciate the most about Columbia are the teachers. The teachers there make sure we understand the things we're learning and are willing to provide extra help whenever students need. Um, they also make sure we're doing well mentally, especially after the COVID outbreak. Um, they've understood how hard it can be for students to just like sit on a screen the whole day and do work. So like they make sure they're not stressing and overloading us with homework. Um, and they give us like more time to turn in an assignment as needed, which I think helps us to become more successful. I love being part of the Columbia difference. Hello, Columbia Christian family. My name is Caden Dukes. I am an alum of the school, and today I am going to be giving a little bit of my experience at CCS. I joined in 2005 as a third grader, and I graduated in 2015. It's hard to believe it's been six years, but here we are, 2021, and since then I have graduated from Oklahoma Christian University with a degree in mechanical engineering, and I have since moved to Fort Worth. I've been living down here for about a year and a half. I, uh, I go to the Hills Church, and I've been a systems engineer um, here in Fort Worth. Some of my favorite things about CCS were the, uh, the community that you get to be a part of as soon as you step through the door. Um, you become part of a greater family there at CCS. You're all knights, and uh, 
Um, you have small classes that for most students you see for the next, for me it was 10 years. For I had students who I was, uh, I was classmates with for, for 10 years straight. And uh, there, are, there are relationships that you build um, the faculty you you have personal relationships with because of how small the classes are um, and uh, the families the families really get involved too I mean for me it was a little different since my family worked there both of my parents worked for the school but for for a couple of years um, the entire family would leave together uh, go to school and then we'd be there all day until everybody else was finished up with their work uh, or their extracurriculars and, uh, and that's another thing, is the extracurriculars. There are so many ways to be challenged at CCS, and not just academically. Um, though the, the professors do um, want you to pursue excellence, there are many other ways that they encourage you to learn and grow. Um, there are numerous opportunities in sports and arts. Um, I, I found my calling in choir, and uh, it was actually professors there um, that recommended that I join the choir, recommended that I pursue engineering, and uh, I've since followed both of those paths here. Um, and of course, they encourage you to follow Christ and to grow and become more like him. And that's something I continue to strive to do. Um, so those, those are just some of the things that I really appreciate about my time at CCS. And I'm glad to be part of the Columbia Difference. I'm Samalis Riga. My name is Shane Riga, and we've been parents of Columbia Christian for about seven years now, starting off when our second oldest boy, Mark, uh, was entering his senior year and Logan was entering his kindergarten year and my wife was looking for a faith-based school to uh, put them both in because public school just it wasn't working for, for our son anymore. Yeah so and it was great for us because Columbia Christian offers um, preschool all the way to 12th grade and so we enrolled Logan in kindergarten and Mark in 12th grade. Yeah. We noticed it made a huge difference in Mark and the way his perspective about school. He was excited again about school, um, entered the soccer team, he graduated and he joined the Marine Corps. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we had a very similar, similar uh, experience with our niece who came up from California. She lived with us for her senior year as well yeah. because it was kind of the same thing. It just the public school uh, system wasn't working for her, and it totally changed around for her. And she wound up graduating with honors and was totally engaged. Um, so now Logan is in his sixth grade year, yeah. and Lauren is in her kindergarten year, and. We are extremely satisfied and excited about um, about Columbia Christian and our children wake up every morning and whether it's Zoom class or to go in person, they have the excitement for school and the love of school. And we attribute that to Columbia Christian being such a wonderful school for our family. Yep. We'll have two more graduates here. Absolutely. <laughs> Columbia Christian strong. Bye. Bye, Bye. everyone. <laughs> Great testimonies from members of our community that have been a part of the family at Columbia Christian. So grateful for them sharing with us tonight. So how are our students doing? That's a question that I get asked quite often. Online learning is not what is best for students. I think we've learned that and I think we're all in agreement. That community and being together as family is so critical and vital to the formation of students. However, I think it's important that even though we have journeyed together through this challenge of COVID and we've done the online learning and we have figured out how to navigate the technology and supporting students from a distance, I think it's important that we acknowledge and recognize how God has grown us in character in working through challenges and adversity. I think we as a community um, can say that we absolutely have grown into this growth mindset, right? That we have had to adapt and be flexible. And we've thought about ways to help and learn and grow and be connected and stay school family. I think we've approached one another with kindness, with grace, with dignity and respect in trying to figure out how do we communicate well, respect well through online learning. We've definitely grown in our use um, and adaptiveness towards online learning with technology. How do we support students with technology? How do we use technology? How do we communicate to parents with the use of technology? And then I think we have also grown to better understand some of those fruit of the spirit. 
Specifically, that I think we've learned to be patient and kind. I think that we have learned to collaborate, to problem solve, to pray for one another, to encourage one another, as we struggled through challenges this year together. But above all, I think we are reminded that God is in control, that though we face challenges and adversities together, we know for sure that our God is in control. And so I don't want us um, to not um, take a moment and reflect how God has grown us, but that we also remember that he has definitely been the one to journey through with us this year. 1 Peter 5, verse 10 says this, And the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, he himself will restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Columbia family, our students have been strengthened. We're excited to get back to normal. I get, I get a lot of inquiries with, from parents and students. When can we go back to normal? Well, return to normal is going to look differently. It's going to look differently. It's going, we're going to interact differently. But there's a couple things that returning to normal does mean. It does mean that children will be in school. It does mean that teachers will be in classrooms with their students. It does mean that children will see and play and interact and collaborate and worship together at school. It does mean that teachers will be teaching. And it does mean that parents will be parenting. And so return to normal for us here at Columbia, it really does mean return to community. Things are going to look differently. We don't know for sure. Will we, we, will we be wearing masks? Will we be social distancing? Will we be 35 square foot a person? We don't know the details to that, but we do know this. We will return to community. And so as we look ahead to the fall, this is the time of year. Now is the time of year where we're excited for our re-enrollment, to share with families about the things that are coming up in the next school year, to invite new people within our community to join the Columbia family. The time is now. And so I want to share with you that as an administration and board we have prayerfully considered how we journey with you through these next steps into 2021 and then 21-22. We want to journey through together. And so at Columbia, we want to do our best to support our families and students. And to do that, the board and administration of Columbia to care for, support community, we will be freezing our tuition for our next year, the 21-22 academic school year. Again, we are committed to continuing to journey through, to support and encourage and grow our students in faith, character, and academics. I could share with you so much more about the things that are coming up with our re-enrollment. But I'm going to pause and I'm going to let uh, Mrs. Rood, our admissions director, do that um, for you this evening. It is my pleasure to serve you, to serve Columbia Christian School, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to share with you this virtual open house event tonight. So with that, Mrs. Rood. Hello everyone, I am Carrie Rood, Admissions Director here at Columbia. Three quick facts about me. First of all, I've been working at Columbia Christian for 11 years now, since God provided the opportunity for me to serve here and I absolutely love it. Second, I have three children who attend Columbia. Oliver is in middle school and Theodore and Esther are in the elementary school. And lastly, I am married to David Rood. Most of our elementary students know him as Mr. Rood, our chapel coordinator. He's actually here with us tonight as our tech coordinator. And he's prepared a video for us to enjoy together that has some memories from our school year together so far. Let's enjoy that now.
That was really great to remember all of our fun times together from this year, and we have so much more we're looking forward to through this school year and also into the fall. Current families, as Mrs. Vinsel shared, now is the time to enroll for next year. You can reserve your spot now for your child, and we're also accepting applications for new students. In fact, we've already accepted new students. We're starting waiting lists for some classes. So we encourage everyone to act soon. Um, I do want to note we have a couple classes for this current year that have openings. So for new families who don't want to wait and waste precious time, uh, we can talk about possibilities of enrolling this semester as well. Everyone can take advantage of our early registration discounts. When you pay by next Friday, February 5th, there are two benefits to that. First of all, you're securing that spot for your child for next year. And secondly, you will save some money. So we call that a win-win. And new families, I want to quickly address you. If you haven't yet had your ESC with Amy, that's your first step. And ESC is an educational success consultation. That's an opportunity for a virtual or in-person conversation. You can talk about your children and learn about our programs, have all of your questions answered. You can come for a campus tour as well. It's an opportunity to get to know one another and share information. So call or email us to make your appointment for that today. Lastly, don't forget about our prize drawing. Mr. Davis mentioned at, at the beginning, we actually have a couple baskets of Columbia gear. Those are some of our prizes and we'll also be giving away a month of free tuition for one student for next year. So make sure in the link below that you sign up and register as a guest and you'll be entered in that prize drawing. And at this time, I'm going to call our principal, Joel Davis, back to the stage, and he will be closing us in prayer. Thank you, Carrie. As we begin to close for the evening, I'd like for us to uh, go together to God in prayer as I lead us. Would you please? Pray with me. Our Father, we thank you so much for this time when we can come together, even in this format, to share concerning the school. Father, we have been greatly blessed as a school. We have great families, we have great students, we have great staff and board. And Father, we are so thankful for the way that through the years and generations that we have seen you guide and direct this school, and we pray for that to continue. We look forward to the rest of this year. We look forward to the fall as we begin a new school year. So, Father, bless each one that's been in attendance tonight. Bless us as we move forward. We pray always for safety and for good health. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to thank everyone for being with us tonight. I want to thank those who have spoken uh, tonight on behalf of the school, who have shared uh, with you. And we look forward to you being uh, part of the community that we've been talking about. Remember to watch tomorrow and listen tomorrow for the results of those drawings. We'll be making those available to you. Thank you again for attending. Wish everyone a very good evening.